What's going on guys? Frank here with 10 Back Bowling here to give you an all new ball review. Today we have the Radical Bowling Hitter. Uh, this ball features a uh, brand new core from Radical called the Hitter Asymmetric along with the utility solid cover. Uh, so we're going to take this ball to the lane, see what it does. But before we do, there's this little button on the bottom right underneath the video. It's called the subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that. We want to thank all uh, 3,000 plus subscribers that we currently have. And as a reminder, once we get to 5,000, we're going to be doing a ball giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button below. For now, let's take the ball out to the lanes and see what it does. All right, guys, just like all the other reviews that we do, we're going to start a little farther to the right. Uh, take my hand out of it a little bit, go a little more up the lane. Uh, try to stay behind the ball a little longer and see what it does. I've had this ball for uh, a little over a month now, and uh, I, can, I can tell you that uh, versatility in this one is actually uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a little more on the conditional side, usually uh, those solid, you know, big cover, big core balls tend to be uh, a little more on the um, narrow window, window side, but uh, this one's been pretty good. It's very clean through the front, smooth, round shape down lane. Reminds me of another ball uh, that I uh, have had in my bag for a long time that uh, we'll get to talk about a little later. Today we're going on a fresh house shot here at uh, beautiful Wabash Lanes in New Philadelphia. You can definitely see it's cleaner through the front. What a nice, nice motion down lane. It's not overly violent, you know, but it's not tumbly at the same time. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of ball speed, so you know, bowling balls like this are definitely going to be at the higher end of the spectrum for me, as opposed to something like a, you know, a mindset or a extreme envy. You know, those bowling balls, I don't, I don't get to throw very much. All right, so here we have going up the track area. Um, as you can see, it's very, very clean through the front part of the lane. This ball probably has about 40 to 50 games on it so far, so it has got some lane shine on it, which is gonna help get the ball down the lane and have it store up a little more energy for the back part of the lane. But I can tell you that out of the box, I definitely saw this same motion, just a hair earlier rolling for me. So performance-wise, I've seen no, no type of deterioration or you know, anything to warrant me taking the cover back to the uh, box surface. So really like the lane shine out of the ball. Now I'm gonna make a little move to the left, start opening my angles up, and we'll see if this ball can still continue through the, through the pins like we want it to. All right, so we're moving about nine, nine left with my feet. Thank you. 
Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Those are the hits I like. Six pin slapping out the tens. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So if you go back to when we first started doing these videos, uh, there was another ball. Uh, once again, I'm hinting to it. It's, uh, it's black in color. Kind of gave me this similar motion. through the pins good. I think that's one of the biggest differences between this type of bowling ball and uh, something like, once again, the mindset or a uh, extreme envy. You know, those balls tend to have a short window. Once you start getting too far left, they just don't quite have enough continuation to get through the pins. So. Uh, this ball, I don't really see that very, very much. You know, the only time that I run into that issue is when uh, we start just getting too dry in the front. All right. So on this one, I'm going to get my hand a little more up the back of it instead of getting my hand around it just to see if we can get it through the pins or if it's just going to be a little too lazy when it gets there. It's close. Still kicked the 10 out, so still pretty good. Playing, uh, playing a little farther left, opening my angles up. Super solid right now. I got no complaints. Uh, we're going to make one more move to the left. Uh, really going to start to twirl it off my hand, slow my ball speed down, and so again, we're going to see if this hitter hits a home run or if it strikes out. Okay, I'm going to move another nine left. Back down the ball speed and get the hand around it a little bit more. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I got to the dry a little quick. I'm not trying to get it that far right, that far, you know, that, that much. I'm trying to keep my angles a little straighter. Uh, the real telltale is when you get it in the oil, does it still try to pick up? Or does it just not have enough engine? That's solid. That's solid. That's definitely more where I'm trying to get it. I'm not trying to feed it so far to the right. I want to keep my angles a little, you know, a little tighter. And I'm looking to see if that ball is going to continue through the pins. And right now, it's doing an excellent job.
And it's been a it's been a, a long time since I've seen uh, one of those stronger pieces that give me this kind of versatility. You know, I I hint to the uh, the ball that that uh, was in my bag uh, that this ball has replaced. And that that gave me a lot of versatility, but at times I just felt that it was just a little too forward um, when I had to get in. And this ball, you know, gives me that, that extra oomph down lane, you know, which allows me to keep it in my hands for a long, longer period of time. That was spinny. Can't throw them good all the time. Alright guys, there you have it for the uh, all new Radical Hitter. Uh, biggest, uh, first word that comes to my mind is versatility. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, playing a little farther to the right, I had a nice, nice smooth ball motion, was able to control the pocket, which is what I like to see when I'm playing, you know, straighter angles. As I, as I got in, the ball just kept getting better and better and better. Um, you know, this bowling ball took the place of my Envy Tour. I've had that ball in my bag for a very, very long time. And uh, once I drilled this one, the Envy Tour kind of, kind of went by the wayside because of the fact that this ball just gives me that extra, you know, pop down lane, and gives me that extra, you know, two to three strikes that I'm looking for when I have to move farther in, whether it's a tournament block or, a, you know, a, a straight three-game block in league. So, uh, in terms of will this ball work for you? You know, slower ball speed players, a little more rev dominant players. This will be your, uh, you know, would be more of like a higher end ball for you for those uh, medium oil to, you know, heavy oil lane conditions. Uh, speed dominant players, you're really going to like this ball too. It's not going to be super violent, but, you know, you're going to be able to move a little farther left with this as opposed to throwing some of the, the earlier rolling, more forward bowling balls that once you start getting left, the ball just doesn't have enough continuation down lane. And then those bowlers who are the match players, medium ball speed, medium rev rates, it's going to be super versatile for you as well. So if you like the, uh, the overall ball motion, and you like the review, and you're looking to get one for yourself, stop by your local pro shop, or you can come see us at one of our three locations in Worcester, New Philadelphia, or Canton, Ohio. Until next time, we'll see you guys.